I remember that night as if it were yesterday. The wind was up and the sea was high, and it was bitterly cold from November. But my mother's skin, the apple window, had quite settled down for the evening. Our lonely lodger, Captain Bones, seemed to be quiet for once and kept to his room. But then, suddenly, and with no note of warning, my great adventure began. My name is Jim Hawkins, and although I could not know it then, I was starting off on my journey to Treasure Island. Uh, made of, huh? <laughs> hey, Jim. 
You see me, uh, Mark here, man? Yes, sir. Not very pretty, is it? Well, the end of that put it there. Don't move no more. When, uh, when I feels evil lurking about, uh, I feel as right here, Jiffy. <laughs> me Mark tells me. <laughs> tells you what, Mr. Bones? Tells you to pay up the three weeks' food in London what you owe me. Tells you to stop filling my son Jimmy here with outlandish tales. What does it tell you, Mr. Bones? Mrs. Hawkins, you are a wonder, you are. I, I, you and your fine lad, you know, a couple of wonders you are. Well, the only wonder is I don't throw you out, Mr. Bones. Oh, Mrs. Captain and oak, Captain. Oh, Lord, what a wind there is out tonight. Oh, Jim! Now, what's this mess here? Oh, not another broke glass, Jim. Yes, ma'am. But not to worry, Mrs. Huggins, not to worry. Uh, uh, when I get me own back, you'll be took care of good and proper. You and your fine lad here. Hmm? Yes, but I'd rather be took care of right now, Mr. Bones. I'd rather you just pace for that glass of what's in your head than to promise anything that... Well, hurry on, clean it up. Yes, ma'am. Be quick. The good doctor will be paying us a call tonight. Oh, Dr. Livesey. Well, who else? Will he bring toffee? Oh, well, never you mind. Will he bring toffee? Oh, and Jim, when you're through there, come here and go with me. Will you? Oh, no, 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 nothing for me. Mrs. Hawkins, you could have No, no, nothing for me. 
I am curious to hear what happened to Evelyn Jenkins, though. Oh. It appears he's had an awful fright. Oh, did you know, Evelyn? Oh, that I did, Mrs. Hawkins. It were awful. Well, just... Well, come on, man. Tell us what it was you have done. Well, sir, it was not a furlong from the Ben Bell here. It was not a furlong from your own front door, ma'am. Sorry I am to say it. I was on my way along when I sees this old big chair lurking like in the shadows. I says to myself, there goes some old seafaring gent what's lost his wife. And I was looking for an old man, see? And then I had this noise. It was like he was poking at the stones with a stick or something. And then I gets closer to him, see? And still he's scraping away at the stones and moving at a snail's pace. And then the clouds moved away and the moon shone full in his face. And, well, begging your pardon, ma'am, but this old man, he didn't have no odds. <laughs>